For today's video, we are going to talk about addition and subtraction of radicals and we are going to explain everything in details. So let's have an example. On example number 1, we have 4 square root of 5 plus 3 square root of 5. In adding and subtracting radicals, always remember, we can only add or subtract radicals if we have the same index and same radicand. In our given, we have the same index and same radicand. All we have to do is to add the coefficient that is 4 plus 3. It will give us 7. And let us write square root of 5. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have 3 to the 4th root of 2 minus 6 to the 4th root of 2. Since we have the same index and that is 4 and same radicand which is 2, all we have to do is to subtract their coefficient. It will give us 3 minus 6 that is negative 3 and let us write 4th root of 2 and this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have 5 cube root of 3x plus cube root of 3x. As you can see, we have the same index and same radicand. But if you are going to rewrite this one, we are going to have 5 cube root of 3x plus 1 cube root of 3x. Let us have 5 plus 1. It will give us 6. And let us write cube root of 3x. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have 3x squared square root of xy minus 2x square root of xy. Still, we have the same index and same radicand, but as you can see, we have different exponent in variable x. So to simplify this one, since we can combine this one, all we have to do is to write 3x squared minus 2x close parenthesis and let us write the radicand and the index which is square root of xy. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have square root of 32 plus square root of 18 minus square root of 50. Again, in adding and subtracting radicals, we must have the same index and same radicand. So to simplify the given expression, let us find the factors of the radicand, which one of the factors is perfect square. So the factors of 32, that is 16 multiplied by 2. 16 times 2 is 32 and 16 is a perfect square. And the factors of 18, that is 9 and 2. 9 multiplied by 2 is 18 and 9 is a perfect square. And then we have 50, that is 25 and 2. 25 multiplied by 2 is 50 and 25 is a perfect square. The square root of 16, that is 4. Let us have square root of 2, the square root of 9, that is 3, and then square root of 2 minus square root of 25, that is 5, square root of 2. Let us simplify. 4 plus 3, that is 7, square root of 2 minus 5, square root of 2. 7 square root of 2 minus 5 square root of 2, that is 2 square root of 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 6, we have square root of 4ab cubed minus square root of 16a cubed b minus square root of ab. So let us simplify. The square root of 4, that is 2. And let us write a b cubed minus the square root of 16, that is 4. And let us write square root of a cubed b minus square root of ab. Since our index is 2, we are going to cut or divide the exponent of the radicand by 2. So let us have 2 square root of a, b square, and then b. If you are going to add this one, that is 2 plus 1, that is 3. And then let us have 4 square root of a square, a, and then b minus square root of a, B. So let's simplify. Let us have 2 square root of B square, that is B square root of A, B minus 4 square root of A square, that is A. And then let us write square root of A, B minus 1 square root of 
AB. Since we have the same index and same radicand, all we have to do is to write 2B minus 4A minus 1, close parenthesis, square root of AB. Because we can't add or subtract this one. And this will be our answer. On example number 7, we have cube root of 375 minus cube root of 81 minus cube root of 24. To simplify the given expression, we must have the same index and same radicand. And to simplify this one, let us find the factors of the radicand, which one of the factors is perfect cube because our index is 3. So let us have the factors of 375, that is 125 and 3. 125 multiplied by 3 is 375 and 125 is a perfect cube. And then let us have the factors of 81, that is 27 and 3. 27 multiplied by 3 is 81, and 27 is a perfect cube. And then the factors of 24, that is 8 and 3. 8 multiplied by 3 is 24, and 8 is a perfect cube. So let us have the cube root of 125, that is 5. And let us write cube root of 3 minus cube root of 27, that is 3. And then let us have the cube root of 3. And the cube root of 8, that is 2. And let us write cube root of 3. So let us have 5 minus 3, that is 2. Cube root of 3 minus 2 cube root of 3. 2 cube root of 3 minus 2 cube root of 3, it will give us zero and this will be our answer on example number eight we have x cube root of 16 minus 2 cube root of 54 x cube plus cube root of 192 so to simplify let us have x and then let us find the factors of 16 which one of the factors is perfect cube and that is 8 and 2 8 multiplied by 2 is 16, and 8 is a perfect cube. And let us have 2 cube root of factors of 54, that is 27, and 2. And then let us write x cube. And then let us have cube root of 192. So the factors of 192, that is 64 and 3. 64 multiplied by 3 is 192 and 64 is a perfect cube so let us write x and the cube root of 8 that is 2 so we are going to have 2x and let us write cube root of 2 minus 2 cube root of 27 that is 3 and cube root of x cube that is x and let us write cube root of 2 and lastly, we have cube root of 64, that is 4. And let's write cube root of 3. To simplify, let us have 2x cube root of 2, negative 2 multiplied by 3x, that is negative 6x cube root of 2 plus 4 cube root of 3. So let us have 2x minus 6x, that is negative 4x cube root of 2 plus 4 cube root of 3. And this will be our final answer. On example number 9, we have square root of x cubed over 8 minus square root of 27x over 18. So to simplify this one, let us write this one as square root of x cubed over square root of 8 minus square root of 27 x over square root of 18. And then, since our index is 2, let us divide the exponent of the radicand by 2. So this will be square root of x square and then x. And then, let us have the factors of 8, which one of the factor is a perfect square, and that is 4 and 2. 
and let us have the factors of 27 that is 9 and 3 and that we have x and the factors of 18 that is 9 and 2 so let us simplify square root of x square that is x then we have square root of x and then we have square root of 4 that is 2 square root of 2 minus square root of 9 that is 3 square root of 3x over square root of 9 that is 3 square root of 2 so we can cancel this one so let us have x square root of x over 2 square root of 2 minus square root of 3x over square root of 2 so to simplify this one let us have 2 square root of 2 as our denominator 2 square root of 2 divide by 2 square root of 2 that is 1 multiply by x square root of x minus 2 square root of 2 divide by square root of 2 that is 2 and then we have square root of 3x so let us simplify 1 multiplied by x square root of x that is x square root of x minus 2 square root of 3x all over 2 square root of 2 and this will be our answer on our last example we have cube root of 81 x square y raised to 4 plus cube root of 54 x raised to 5 y minus 3 cube root of 16 x raised to 7 y raised to 7 to simplify the given expression we must have the same index and same radicand so to simplify let us find the factors of the radicand which one of the factors is perfect cube because our index is 3 so let us have the factors of 81 that is 27 and 3 27 is a perfect cube and 27 times 3 is 81 and let us divide the exponent of the radicand by 3 because our index is 3 let us have x square and y cube and then y raised to 1 plus the factors of 54 that is 27 and 2 and then let us have x cube x square if you are going to add it will give us 5 and let us write y minus 3 cube root of 16 that is 8 and 2 and let us divide the exponent of x and y by 3 because our index is 3 so this will be x cube x cube and then x raised to 1 if you are going to add it will give us 7 let us have y cube y cube and y raised to 1 total of 7 so let us have the cube root of 27 that is 3 and the cube root of y cube that is y and let us write cube root of 3 x square y plus the cube root of 27 is also 3 and let us have the cube root of x cube that is x and let us write cube root of 2 x square y minus 3 cube root of 8 that is 2 since we have 2 x cube we are going to have x square and 2 y cube that is y square then let us write cube root of 2 x y and to simplify let us have 3 y cube root of 3 x square y plus 3 x cube root of 2 x square y minus 3 multiplied by 2 that is 6 and let us write x square y square cube root of 2 x y since we have different radicand so this will be our final answer So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.